Those who rallied less than a kilometer from the presidential palace want their voices heard. They say they haven't been able to vote in local council elections since 2010. The government is not respecting the law. Since Alpha Conde became president in 2010, he's refused to hold council elections, even though he's agreed to hold them six months after his two inaugurations. The government postponed an election due for February, while the head of the election commission was fired last week, despite internal support. The opposition says the move is a delaying tactic. Protesters are also rallying against corruption. They say money received during the Ebola crisis has been misappropriated. Hospitals and clinics in Guinea still lack proper equipment. One trip by the president to Europe can buy two or three medical scanners. Government ministers' families receive medical treatment abroad and have no interest for the needs of the population here. Protesters say those needs include better pay so that people have more than one meal a day. They argue new taxes are driving fuel and commodity prices up and wages down. But with no election in sight, they're angry the president doesn't want to hear their concerns. If you ask Alpha Conde about another term, he will get very angry. He has driven out journalists. He thinks he has the right to modify the constitution the way he likes. The president's office says it is the people's constitutional right to protest, but he hasn't responded to calls to investigate the deaths of some 80 protesters since 2010. The president's allies say he's attracted investments to improve the economy and aid money to support the population. But the opposition rejects the impact of those moves. It's planning a nationwide rally on August 2nd. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.